can Team USA go 82-0 here on NBA 2K24? As you can see, we're here on NBA 2K24 with Team USA and on the squad is, of course, every single member of Team USA. Embiid, Durant, LeBron, Tatum, Anthony Edwards, Curry, Davis, Devin Booker, Tyrese Halliburton, Bam Adebayo, Drew Holiday, and Derek White there. Uh, this is the Horn squad, so Davis Bertans on the squad. Just need some other players to fill out the roster. He's not going to play, don't you worry. But today on 2K24, we have the entire Team USA on the squad with one goal in mind to see if they can go 82 0 so if you're already i'm ready let's get into today's video and let's get started be sure to like this video subscribe if you're new let's get into today's rotation and here's the rotation we're rocking with here for team usa curry booker lebron durant and bead coming off the bench can be halliburton tatum anthony davis and anthony edwards as well as bam out of bio let's see how things play out for team usa on 2k24 i'm really hoping that they can go 82 0 obviously of course this team is beyond stack so fingers crossed for that but we'll see what happens i'll see you guys at the end of the season we go over all the stats and the record and all that and don't worry i'll get some game action too because i think be curious to see how things play on 2k24 in comparison to how well the team usa is doing in real life at the olympics but either way i'll see you guys at the end of the season and hopefully they go 82 and 0 and the season Luke Doncic is your MVP 29 10 and 10 for him we got Alexander Saar rookie of the year Josh Hart sixth man Victor defense player of the year and Jalen Johnson is your most approved I doubt any of them main all NBA team and of course not because obviously they're all playing together so their numbers are going to go down and at the end of the season Team USA went 77 and 5 we were 40 and 2 at home 37 and 3 on the road unfortunately Team USA was unable to complete the 82 no challenge here in NBA 2K24 first though let me just show you all five games that we lost so loss number one was to the Rockets on November 1st, 123 to 112. Obviously not what you're looking for at all. Jalen Green Singum, we just couldn't stop him, unfortunately, and that's how things played out for our first loss. We actually lost to the Rockets yet again for loss number two, which was on January 26, 136 to 114. So two of our losses were to the Houston Rockets, which is absolutely crazy. For some reason, Fred just has our numbers cooked. I mean, that's really all it comes down to. Our third loss was to the Sixers on March 1st. Uh, and B is still on the Sixers. I thought it'd be interesting to see if the players were actually still on the same teams. So, you know what? It is what it is. But either way, even he still only scored 20. Even if you took that out, uh, they still would have beat us. 135 to 111 right there. Our next loss was to Atlanta. I mean, the games that we're losing, we lose by a big margin so it's like really not fun we also lost the Cavs on this game right here and uh, that's all of our losses for the season all five losses yeah so things obviously didn't go as planned we also lost five games there I can believe we lost two times to the Houston Rockets that's crazy let's share the player stats here at the end of the season curious to see how things lined up for Team USA and Bede was the one leading us in scoring 18 points 11 rebounds four assists Curry was next at 17, 3, and 5. Booker then had 17 points as well, 3 rebounds and 8 assists. Durant 16, 4, and 3, and LeBron had 15, 6, and 8. Obviously, because they're all playing together, all their numbers are going to go down this season. You know, I'm not expecting them to average 30 points a game. I think this is pretty realistic how things play now. Edwards had 12, Davis 12, Tatum had 12, and Halliburton had 11. Bam only had six, but he only played 13 minutes a game. But either way, 77-5 on the season. Not too bad, not too shabby at all. Still wishing that we could have went 82-0, but you know, it is what it is. So we're going to take on the Orlando Magic here in the first round. I do think that we should be easily beating all these squads, and yes, we do. We're going to take a clean sweep over the Orlando Magic in the first round. Checking out the player stats for our playoff statistics at the moment. And beat average 21 points a game in that series. Durant had 20 as well. Booker 19. Tatum had 18 points per game in only 19 minutes that's crazy uh, so we're gonna take on the hawks in the next round the hawks that beat us in one game during regular season so let's see if they can get the job done in the playoffs against us they actually do in game number one 138 to 128 we end up losing despite big performances by from booker but trey young and bogdanovich combined for a lot of points right there 70 points specifically and they beat us in game one so that is obviously not good uh, we do win here in game number two curry had 28 tatum had 24 6 and 8 and only 19 minutes that's crazy and lebron had a big performance 22 10 9 3 158 to 106 an absolute blowout in game number two game number three also goes to us 137 117 26 and 13 for trey edwards at 22 for us and lebron with a big performance in game number three game number four actually goes back to atlanta trey young 42 and 13 putting the hawks on his back over steph curry team usa here it's now a 2-2 series honestly i'm kind of shocked by this 3-2 here durant 35 for us 19 for AD and 16.75 for LeBron. 
35, 3, and 10 for Trey Young. That's wild. He's going crazy in this series. But we do end up getting the job done. We're going taking on the Philadelphia 76ers in the Eastern Conference Finals. Hopefully, we can get the job done against them. Uh, they did win against us that one game earlier in the year. Booker had 25 in this one. LeBron, 24. Tatum's been cooking off the bench. And Curry has 20, as well as 19 for Edwards. We win by 20 in game number one. Game number two is the same. 119-111. LeBron and KD both with 18 points in this one as we take game two over Philly. Game three also goes our way. 148-125. to Maxine and Beat have big games for them. But LeBron put up a huge triple-double. 24-11, 13-4. Durant had 20 and beat 19-6-7. So that's what you like to see in game number three. And game number four we end up winning is a clean sweep over Philadelphia in the Eastern Conference Finals. 23-17-4 for Embiid right there. And we're going to the NBA Finals. We're taking on the OKC Thunder. Shea is your Western Conference Finals MVP. And LeBron is for your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Team USA or the OKC Thunder. Who's going to win here in the NBA Finals? USA takes game one. Durant 22-3-4. and four. Embiid at 21-11-4. and four. Tatum 17-5-5. Chet with a huge performance there. But we get the job done. 120-107. The Thunder do take game two. Edwards had 24 for us. LeBron 27-5. Durant had 18 3 and 5, but we lose by 4. Actually, Lou Dort had 26. Kind of shocked by that, honestly. The Lou Dort led the way in scoring for OKC. But we win here in game 3. 36 from Shea for OKC Thunder, but 28 from Curry, 24 from Edwards. Lead the way for Team USA, 137 to 131. We end up winning here in game number 4. Shea with 29 for them. LeBron at 23, 6 and 8 for us. Durant, 17. And we're up 3 1 here in the NBA Finals. I do want to get some game action. I promise you game action beforehand. So we're going to be heading into game five of the nba finals we've got two minutes left to go here in game five of the nba finals team usa is currently up by three with two minutes left to go and if team usa wins of course they're going to be winning the nba finals if okc wins we'll be having the series extend by at least one more game shea gillis alexander hand that mid-range jumper to go for okc back to a one point game between these two squads out there for team usa at the moment it's curry booker durant lebron and joel and b let's see how things play out for the two squads curry is going to attempt that three-pointer and he misses that could be a very crucial Special miss for Curry right there and Team USA. Chet with the defensive board for the OKC Thunder. Shea is going to be going inside over Steph Curry. He's going to miss Joel and be with the defensive board up to Kevin Durant at the moment. What's he going to do with the ball over to Steph Curry? Is he going to attempt that three? No, he does not. He's trying to get inside over Shea. Back out to Kevin Durant at the top of the key. One minute and ten seconds left to go. Left here in this ball game. Inside to LeBron James. The pass by Devin Booker. A huge slam for LeBron James for Team USA right there. Putting the Team USA up by three points again once again in tonight's ball game shea he's got the ball still for okc thunder back out to the top of the key is aaron wiggins inside to shea once again he's got curry on him trying to get a bucket over steph curry and he's going to get the bucket and one the foul on steph curry wow that's crazy he's got a chance now to put the okc thunder back into one point game here and potentially tie it at this moment and yes he does it is now a tie ball game between these two squads 117 117 50 seconds left to go tonight that's crazy i can't believe that it just happened 117 117 curry he's got the ball out to devin booker and b is gonna be calling for it on the other end looks like they're gonna set the double and he misses the shot but lebron james with the board and the dunk that's absolutely ridiculous right there is now a two-point game seven seconds left to go again in this ball game team USA currently up by two inside Alex Caruso can he get a shot off no he does not and kick it out to the top of the key is Jada back out to Caruso he's got Devin Booker on him at the moment what's Caruso gonna do let's see inside to Shea Curry once again on him can Shea get the bucket to go and he's gonna get right by Curry back to a tie ball game between these two squads 19 seconds left to go in this ball game anything's possible if Curry's unable to guard Shea it seems like on every single possession as they keep giving it to Shea every single Single time down the drive but team usa has a chance to put themselves and give themselves a victory right here 15 seconds left to go curry he's got the ball for team usa 119 119 10 seconds left to go again if team usa wins this game they're gonna be going home with the nba finals trophy what are they gonna do mb is gonna set the screen on curry and he's going to miss that jumper oh that's such a crucial miss 
for Steph Curry, 0.6 seconds left to go. I mean, I don't think that's too much time here to get a shot off. I mean, you probably have to go for a dunk or layup, but probably going to overtime. Let's see how things play out. Wiggins will be inbounding it for the OKC Thunder. Who are they going to pass it into? And Shea's not going to get the shot off in time. He almost makes it though, but we're going to overtime. Let's see how things play out. Two minutes left to go here in overtime is once again a two-point game between these two squads. Uh, anything's possible still. I can't believe they actually made this part. And Bede open for three. He's going to hit that shot. The assist by Steph Curry putting Team USA back up by five. Five. That could be a very crucial three, and that very well could be the dagger. We don't really know what's going to happen yet. Shea inside once again getting past Steph Curry. He's going to get that layup to fall, the floater, if you will. 41 points for Shea Gilgis Alexander so far in tonight's ball game. Back to a three-point game between these two squads. Curry, he's got the ball. What's he going to do? He can't really get past Shea at all, but Shea's been absolutely cooking him on the other end. And B's going to come over and set the screen. Can he hit the step back jumper? And no, he does not. No crucial miss by Steph Curry right there. One minute and 20 seconds left to go. Crusoe, he's got the ball inside the Shea once again. The game plan is very similar every single time, but he's going to miss that step around jumper right there, and it's now still a three-point ball game. Curry, he's got the ball. Is he going to attempt that three? No, he does not. Back out to Booker, back to Curry, and he's going to attempt a fading three-pointer, and it is off. What is going on? Curry cannot make a shot in this simulation at all. Inside to Isaiah Joe for the OKC Thunder. Curry again on him. Wiggins with the ball back out to Shea. He's going to pass it over into the corner and it's going to back to Shea with LeBron now on him at the moment inside the chat over LeBron he's going to miss that could be a very huge miss right there Curry once again he's got the ball attempting another three pointer but that one is good that's probably going to be the dagger right there for Steph Curry he missed all his other shots but that one was a big shot for Curry and Team USA we've got 40 seconds left to go still in this ball game Crusoe will be inbound ball for the OKC Thunder 135 to 129 so anything's possible I mean if OKC is a huge three right here then they can definitely get the job done inside the chat he's gonna get that slam to go four point game between these two squads i expect the okc thunder to foul on this play and yes they do they're gonna be saying step curry to the free throw line oh never mind i didn't realize they were in the bonus yet but either way i mean obviously whoever's out there minus lebron is really good free throw shooters so let's see how things play out once again curry's gonna get the ball and Shea's actually falling out there. That's probably not the best move. They could have had Isaiah Joe, Kisa Mollis, one of the other ones. Potentially foul for Curry right there. But regardless, Curry's going to hit both free throws. It's now a six-point game. The Thunder obviously have to hit a three if they want to have just a chance in this ball game. But they're going to be calling a timeout. If they want to have a chance, again, a three has to be made. But, I mean... Who knows what's going to happen. If they don't hit a three, then obviously this game is done. But let's see how things play out here on 2K24. Crusoe is going to be inbounding the ball for the OKC Thunder. Probably inbounding it to Isaiah Joe. And yes, he does. He's got Devin Booker on him at the moment. What's he going to do? He's currently wasting clock here. That's not what you like to see. Inside the chat, over Joel and Bede. He's going to miss and Bede with the rebound. And they're still going to foul once again. Sending, let's see, LeBron James to the free throw line. But obviously, I don't think it really matters. Because LeBron's going to hit the first one up by seven here 19 seconds left to go in this ball game and he's also gonna hit the second one 139 to 131 this game is done but they obviously still got to play out the rest of the 15 seconds left to go case them also gonna attempt that three he does make it though so obviously they're still gonna foul once again to try and potentially get something new here and it's gonna be Booker the one fouled this time by Isaiah Joe of the OKC Thunder he's gonna hit the first free throw six point game between these two squads can he hit the second one as well and yes he does it's back to a seven point game 12 seconds left to go between team usa and the okc thunder and out to aaron wiggins for three he's going to miss and be with the board and obviously no fouls here this game is done team usa has won here in the nba finals in five games and that's what you like to see and hopefully this is what's going to happen here in the 2024 olympic games with them winning the gold medal this summer so if you all enjoyed today's video please sure like try for your content if you have any other ideas that you want me to do feel free to let me know down in the comment section below <laughs> Davis Bertans celebrating this wild either way I mean I'm hoping that Team USA wins gold medal let's see if they can do obviously I know today's challenge for today was to go 82-0 but things didn't go as planned regardless I still had fun hope you all enjoyed today's video I'll see you all in the next one hope you all have a great day and hope you all have a great day just like Team USA there as they win the NBA finals